we're just gonna run it. We've done some practice games. I'm feeling good. Let's go into constructed league and let's get a let's get a league going here. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. All right, here we go. Here we go, baby. We're in. We won the die roll. We're playing. All right. We have a SRAM, and that's it. Do we keep it? Oh, I think we do. We're playing first. We're going to go for it. We're just going to... We're going to feel it out. If we can resolve any kind of aura on this SRAM, we're going to profit from it. Hopefully next turn we can just draw like um, a one-cost uh, one cost creature. Yeah. I should probably... We'll pass turn to our opponent, who hopefully does not play black and then thought sees me and take my SRAM. Dear God, please. No black. No black man. Ah. Oh, it's a fabled passage. This is good for us. Okay. So part of me thinks it's going to be smartest to actually... No, we play the SRAM out, in case they do have a Thought Seize. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, we just play him. We play him, we say, hey, here's the deck we're playing. Do your worst. Yeah, I mean, you should, you should be only playing against pretty competitive stuff in a league, so... Yeah. Oh, we, we might just be dead. They might just Fatal Push right here. But yeah, maybe well, they you don't. Also, you also have some one drops in there you could draw and, and suit up pretty quickly. Nope, oh, they get it. Everyone always has the fatal push, dude. Oh, we find Eidolon. Okay. Maybe we should have gone with an all that glitters there. Either way, the fatal push was was pretty good against us. Yeah, you really want to top deck uh, car mattress here. That would have let you all the glitters. Uh, you could also drop top deck uh, all seed. Either one of those, and you're gonna be able to all the glitters and protect your idol on. You think, uh, uh, Purple Yoshi says, uh, you could go to six, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, you know, I'm still feeling out the deck, but I do... Speak to remove Lunar Seas, yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good, uh, you know, two creatures in your opening hand. Yeah, that's true. Because they did have... Top deck another creature here. Well, this isn't yeah, awful. No, that's not bad. So you can all seed and all the glitters and still stay open for car metris. Yep. That's what I would do. Yeah, because there's no Liliana the Veil in this format that's gonna um And we do have Griff's Boon as well. Did you see our points on our channel, Jake? Song request for 100, highlight my message for 250, karaoke for 500, which means you have to sing a whole song, <laughs> and 5,000 for a build around, which means you gotta build a deck around whatever card they want you to build around, play it. All right. All right, so we just have to kind of stabilize here. I think, uh, 
I think Purple Yoshi was right. I think there is value to simply... Um, getting your your one cost dude online early because this deck is is very aggro it's very like a boggle deck it's like suit it up go hard and hope that your opponent doesn't make it to the mid to late game yeah because now we're playing against like a salty delirium kind of thing i see jace i see Seder wayfinder Well, now we have two blessings, so, I mean, 100%, we're just gonna... Oops. Can you return Griff's boon right now? You don't have the mana to do, do that and stay open, do you? No. Because you really need this thing to be flying. No, I mean, a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker, though. Yeah. That we can protect. Twice. Yeah. That's good for us. Even What's if they the thought sees us... Four. Okay, so you need one more mana and you can return that and... And stay up. And stay up, yeah. Flying right now would be huge. Yeah, it's I would honestly, points. I would take like another... It, uh, another mana would be perfect, yeah. Get that Griff Spoon online. Another mana or all C. And then all that glitters checks itself twice again, so it's just brutal. We just want no sacrifice effect. Any kind of targeted removal is fine. That's five mana. Never mind. That's four mana, five mana. Nisa, now you really want uh, to fly. Don't really care. Their next, their, you know, that Hydroid Crisis out of the out of the shoot's gonna be a pain in the ass, but what can you do? Uh, if you can make it fly this turn, you could kill the Nisa. Not the worst idea. Yeah, I think killing the Nisa and leaving them with like a three is okay. So top deck land, top deck Griff's boom, top deck all seed would work in a pinch. You could give it pro. No, actually, those the creature doesn't have a color, does it? Oh, ethereal is really good. Nah, I mean, is it? Well, I mean, I'm down to kill their lands. I'm like all about it. What is this? 3-3. Three, three. Uh, put... It doesn't have a color? Yeah, so all seeds not gonna matter. Mm. Well, we're just gonna ethereal armor, dude. Yeah, I guess so. Yep, until you top deck a land, I wouldn't tap out to Griff's Boon right now. I think... I mean... And honestly, you might be able to Griff Spoon for the win if they tap out again next turn. I don't even think I'm going to target the Nissa. I think I'm going to target their face. I'm fine if they want to keep turning their lands into chump blockers. I mean, they're not going to be able to do anything. Nissa makes me nervous, dude. You're not giving her enough credit. No, I know because she's a mana doubler, but she has but to... Face, uh, I mean, yeah, face is the place. Yeah, I mean, it's a two-turn clock. It's like, answer this. Um, so one plus... Plus we're netting 13 life, two, which is just huge. Three. Purple Yoshi says def definitely the f face. Yeah, face is the place. Especially with a two-turn clock. If it were a grindier game... They went. They took it. Yeah, they, they just want, took it. They want their land, which terrifies me. All right, so they abrupt decay gonna make you use one of those car metros just pray you don't have two all right fine with this <clears throat> all right do they have two removal spells if they have a thought seize we just car metros in response right which sucks because they can instant speed in response to that but you know gotta do what you gotta do yeah I mean, I think that what they need to do... Like, they have so much to do. They're at five. And they have so much damage to do to me. And I don't put them on having two removal spells either. <clears throat> All 
All right, so they play another land. That makes me feel fine. I think we just Griff's Boon here next next turn either way. I don't think they're thinking about that. They have one card in hand. I really want them to play it. I want it to be a removal spell, and then we just Griff's Boon swing over. Win. Don't care. <clears throat> Give me a land, baby. Just do it. Do it right now. Give me a land. That's a lot of mana. It's a ton of mana. Is it an Ugin? I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. yeah I was going to say that's fine because you just fly over next turn with Boone because they're tapped out. Okay, so let's think about this. Gideon doesn't really make sense. I don't think we need it. Um, the thing that killed our guy in the beginning. Abrupt decay and fatal push kicked your ass with as far as removal, so purifying light sounds like a good play. Yep. So what do we cut then? Ephema or hoplites? I would say two hoplites and an ephemia. I don't know if that's exactly what the constructor intended, but when I was playing this deck and shooting that deck tech for it, that was always my three cuts if I was putting in creatures. Brain maggots, I would take out two hoplites and an ephemia. If the, uh, if the uh, pro black creatures are coming in, same thing. I'm wondering, do I bring in Thought Seizes for Nyssa? Because it's a later game kind of thing? Yoshi, su Yoshi suggests that Ephemia is good for this matchup. Not a bad thought with uh, all the removal. Yeah, that's true. So what are they playing? Sultai good stuff? Or Sultai, Sultai strong pile? I, think you call I guess Sultai let's... Control. I guess let's cut, like... Let's cut one Sentinel's Eyes to keep in an extra Ephemia. And we'll see how we do. I didn't really mind Nyssa. I feel like we can overpower Nyssa. But part of me thinks that having the Thought Seizes in to try to take a look at their hand isn't a bad idea or bad play. Nissa is probably being cited out in your opinion. All right, let's just let's just run it. Let's see let's see how we do. I'm still new to this deck, but um, it's fun. So we have one creature. We have a cartouche in five lands. This is not a keep. Okay, we find hateful apostle. Griff Spoon, Sentinel's Eyes, all that glitters. This is good. So uh, between Griff Spoon and Sentinel's Eyes, which one do we get rid of? I like keeping Griff Spoon just because it gives the flying. All right, so we'll but cut Sentinel's. Sentinel's Eyes also comes back when they inevitably kill a creature. Did you say pit Yoshi? You mean pitch eyes or keep eyes? Let Yoshi make the call. I think he's right. I think we I think we pitch eyes. Yeah. Soul Tide Delirium, which is mostly a good stuff deck, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Leyline of the Void comes online and our opponent we pitched eyes. Okay. Well Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean if they're both gonna get removed I'd rather have and never come back, I'd rather have uh, flying in a vacuum. Funny how uh, impactful Theros Beyond Death was on this particular deck. 
riff. Well, it's because, I mean, just every set has been pushed. I'm sure that you could put the deck together with older Theros cards mm -hmm. in some of the slots or some other enchantment, you know, kind of things. But yeah, it absolutely made the deck powerful enough to be a low tier, top tier deck. Yeah. I mean, it just seems, it seems in a way like just so casual, almost like a standard deck, but uh, it's, it's really strong. We're going to go online with Apostle here and get cracking in the air. I think we're going to save the Griff Spoon for the Apostle. Yeah, for sure. Don't forget about that second clause on a, a Apostle, by the way. You can pay two in Exile cards from Graveyards. I don't know if it's going to be relevant, but it is something to think about. Oh, yeah. That is that is notable. Yeah, let's just go ahead and swing with our hateful Eidolon. Oh, shit. Well, there it is. Oh, Ballista. Yeah. Food time, what's up? Subscribed with Twitch Prime. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. Oh, shit. Good reminder. Alright, so for some reason they didn't do that. So if we had a... Well... I mean, obviously, the choice then is to go on the Eidolon, because they're going to kill the Apostle. That's what I would do. So... Oh, wait! This is, this is obviously the move. first there's only one counter on that thing right yeah i mean obviously i want to i want to keep the apostle alive but i know what they're doing with that walking ballista i mean you're not gonna be able to do anything about the apostles come die yeah so we do we go cartouche here <laughs> yep and then uh we go griff spoon yeah yeah, I was gonna say you might as well boon it as well because you don't have any um, you don't have any protection, so you might as well just go all in. Yeah, and we get a ton of triggers if they decide to use two of their mana to kill the hateful Eidolon, So we'll draw a ton of cards if they decide to do that. Our next turn, you're open to all the glitters, which will be dope. And you know what? We're just gonna offer it. There's no reason not to at this point. They can just block it with the walking ballista. If that's what their goal is. What game is this? Game two? Yeah. Yeah, you win game one. Alright, all that glitters is, I mean, a huge card if we can get in. Oh, baby, your perfect your perfect world here is you get to untap and they haven't interacted with you, and then you top deck Karametra's blessing, and you're just like, Aah! yeah. 
Yoshi says cash in on Apostle. Food time, how you doing? Food time, we gotta get some uh, commander going, man. Please. I mean, I am tapped out, so whatever you want to do. Right, I mean, you're sitting there. It's looking like this ain't what they wanted. Oh, there's another land. I am 100% going to uh, get rid of that fucking Uro with this Apostle if I can do it. What? Wait. What happened? Wow. Why did I not get to draw any cards off of it? Is it something with Leyline of the Void? Abrupt Decay is definitely destroy. Yeah. Is it something with Leyline of the Void since it didn't go to the graveyard? Whenever it dies, read Leyline of the Void. If a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Yeah, I wonder if you don't get the dies triggers. It never hits the graveyard. Oh. Yeah, it's a replacement effect. Well. Poggers. Fuck. Okay, so they're tapped out. You just got kicked, double you'd. Well, then I think what we do is we put all that glitters. They have two cards in hand. My question is, do I all that glitters? No, fuck it, dude. I'm getting rid of Uro. Yep, that's it. They have two cards in hand. It's looking tough, buddy. They have two cards. I mean, yeah, they yeah. can start suiting up the Ballista. Like, to put one counter on the Ballista, they have to tap out four mana, so... Oh god, they traverse. And then they play Uro. Draw card, lose, or draw card, gain three. The Dirk side says Exile Uro. Yeah, everybody's saying Exile Uro. Yeah, alright, so this finally freaking happens. They play Uro. Yep. Okay. Yes, do it, do it. Do it, do all the things. Okay. Oh, Ethereal is pretty good for us. I wish we had... Oh, God. This is pretty good for us. Do we go all in on one? Because Uro's going to come back next, next turn. And it's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. So... That makes me think if they only have one card in hand, 
that the best idea would be to suit up one. And hope they don't find the fucking removal for it. Team. Team, say go. Here we go, baby. Let's see if we can pull this out. You think yeah, split? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we split because Uro could then block them. Alright, we, we net a epic shit ton of life. Our opponent goes to 13. Two cards in hand. If they play Uro, they get a big 6-6, six, six, but... Top deck Griff Spoon is the dope noise here. Yeah, Griff Spoon would be good. So they play Uro with Escape, gain three life, draw a card. If not, we just go to the game three. But I mean, they have a 9 10 that they have to answer. Nice, dude. I mean, yeah. Found the two cards. Yeah. I mean, Uro can attack, obviously, but... Oh, oh it's just a Courser. Alright, you need a Flyer. The now they can, now they can triple block to kill my... Uh... Hateful. Yeah, you need something. Blah. I think we still offer the 9-10. It's, I mean, they have no mana untapped. They're just going to block, but it is what it yeah, is. Got, what, their, what a fucking draw with the ley line on turn one, replacing the uh, Eidolon's effect. That's been so relevant this game. <laughs> the thing that sucks is that it, now every time Uro swings, he's, they're gaining three life. Yeah. I know they just drew a uh, Soul Tide Charm, I'm pretty sure. No, but the thing is, is, yes, when Uro it swings... the Eidolon. Uro swings, but now I can crack back with the team. Cursor can block one thing. Right, but they're going to destroy the Eidolon with that Soul Tide Charm that they drew, I'm pretty sure. What Soul Tide Charm? Where is it? Uh, under my picture. Is their library because of Courser of Crusade? Because uh, of the Courser. I mean, you can take six, you get 39 life. Yeah, I don't care about taking six. They still have a ton of work to do. I mean, once they start playing shit like Traverse, though, it becomes a lot, a lot worse for us. Because this is going to be, like, Traverse is just, it's a toolbox kind of card, so... They're going to go find something relevant. Alright, so they find JVP. They destroy target monocolor creature, okay. We draw two cards, or should, we should draw four cards, right? Well, ley line of the void, my man. Wait, this is still that same game? Yeah, ley line's up there in the top right. For fuck's sake. <laughs> this is still the same game, you're funny. I don't think we get this, I don't think we get this now. No, I think this one's out of reach. Um, I would watch your clock. You're sitting here. Yeah, let's just let's just scoop it up. I mean, yeah, they got us. It's fine. Um, let's see here. Graph Digger's cage seems relevant. 
brain maggots seem relevant. I'm curious how many ley lines they're running because Ephemia is completely irrelevant if they're running enough to. They're going to be they running just get four. Lucky? Or are they running four exactly? They're a hundred percent running four. So let's. Well, uh, it, I don't think it's a hundred percent because some of these decks might toss one in the sideboard. Yeah. Let's cut the Ephemias. Oh yeah, he's right. Yoshi's got a good point. Ephemia is relevant. Uh, flying is relevant rather. Playing is relevant. That's right. I mean, look, you're going first here. You want your deck to be clicking on all cylinders, so I would play it as as low to the ground and swiftly as possible. You don't really care too much about disrupting here. You want your deck to whip their ass. Has Apostle been relevant? Not so much. I almost want it to be a hoplite. Let's keep let's keep one in and then we'll Numbers, do you aren't lying, but honestly, dude, SRAM has been SRAM has been ha, well before the inverter winter happened. We SRAM could cut a, we could cut us SRAM. I think SRAM's going to be the only way that you have it. Uh, uh, you're at, I mean, you're at 60 right now. What else are you trying to put in? Part of me thinks Thoughtseize would be good here. See, I wouldn't... I, I personally wouldn't be trying to disrupt too much here. I would be going for hard push, like Sentinel's Eyes over Apostle. Maybe so that you just can pump it even more and it's low to the ground. But also Sentinel's Eyes gets worse with... Uh, Let's just run it. Though, so. Let's just run it. Let's see it. SRAM is better than Eidolon and Leyline? Yeah, for sure. Oh, one land. Fuck. Alright. I hate that you only have one card, one creature, but... I mean, essentially you can't play SRAM until turn... Fucking three. Four, if you want to be completely safe. Yeah, I need to play SRAM when we have an ability... Ugh, fuck, man. Wow. I mean, and that shit happens. Yeah. You know, if they get lucky and take this one down... It's only game one of the league, you know, if you lose it. But I bet we can still take this. I don't think I play SRAM here, dude. Not on turn two, no. No, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. As soon as you can play SRAM is turn three. And if you want to be completely safe, I would say turn four. If you happen to top deck another mana, you could go SRAM, Ethereal Armor, stay open with Carmetras. Yeah. It's not the best thing in the world, but... We play it now. We play it now. Yep. Ethereal armor, get a card? No. We stay up for the Karmetra's Blessing and next no, turn. Karmetra's only, Karmetra's only for an enchanted creature or enchantment creature. You can't... Oh, well. Oh, I see. Well, hopefully... If you wanted to get some... Oh, nice. All okay, right. well. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not a removal on this ramp. So now you actually can go armor, armor. Or armor, see what you draw. Potentially go armor, armor. Stay open for blessing. <clears throat> More lands. How about, how about you're a landlord this game? Alright, well, let's draw some cards.
Okay. Ooh, baby. You gotta be careful with that all seed, cause that's gonna be your win con too. And you've got the car metras. Hateful is good. No, it's not. Not in this map. Not with Leyline on the. Oh floor. yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, so just in case they have any kind of sacrifice, I'm gonna put the all seed on the on the field, and we'll hang back on the car metros. Oh well, then put your idol on on the field. That's actually not a bad idea. Don't put the all seed on the field because that could be your win con, and you're gonna want to sack the idol on anyway. No, yeah. no, I want the I, the all seed on the on the field in case I do need to use it to give protection to ramp. Over the car metros? Yeah. I just, I want to go wide here, and then most likely I'm not going to have to use it, but just in case, we're going to put this out. And if there is a sacrifice effect, then we'll use the all seed for that. But if it's a removal effect, we'll, we're going to need to use the all seed for protection. Or the car metros, doesn't matter. Yeah, I would prioritize using the car metrics first, just because... If she goes all seat, is risky. Um... Oh, it's the crew fix. I would prioritize the uh, car metrics at first, because you can all seat sack to... Give that thing pro whatever, so it's unblockable. I think they're just trying to clog up the battlefield so they've got blockers. Ooh, graph hey. diggers is good for us. It's a pretty good, pretty good top deck right now. I hate that we don't have another aura. I think we just send SRAM again. Yeah, I mean you've got to. block or they won't they're gonna block with the one one and now at this point they're gonna start what does jace do when it you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn all right so that might be like a salt eye players, charm players can't cast spells from their graveyard dog you played a graph ticker's cage oh well <laughs> do you know what's in your deck no i don't thank you for asking <laughs> That's, uh, that's fair. That's a fair, that's a fair statement. It's a fair statement, dude. <laughs> Alright, so they've got lots of cards to do you things just need with. That one little thing to tip you over, dude. There's an abrupt decay. Abrupt decay I don't care about. I have two I have two ways to protect against abrupt decay. They do need triple removal. Mm -hmm. And they know decay on the cage. Yeah, that's totally a thing. Oh yeah, that's fair. MP numbers, good to see ya. This is a good game three, though. I would love to draw any aura. Yeah, dude. A top deck... Oh my god. Top deck Griffspoon here would be pretty fucking spicy. Oh, fuck off. Okay, so... You just see what it's gonna target first. Yep, it ETBs. They're going to target the all seed. And then block with it? Damn, I hate that those creatures don't share a color so you can't push through right now. No, I'll give it hexproof, dude. Oh, they're taking the cage. He plays the cage. 
He's mad he can't play Uro. He's like, how dare you? This is why I built it like this. All right, dog. Just like, let's go one time crazy combo off here with Saran. One time, baby. They got nothing. Ugh. Um, I'm gonna swing with the team, and if they for some reason block with something, then I can give it Carmetra's blessing. No, that seems dumb. I think we just put them in a situation where, do they care? Do I care about Jace? Yeah, I think I do. You could give it pro green so they can't block with the courser. I mean, I'm fine with them losing the courser. To be completely honest. I mean, I know that they're going to cast Uro, but we're still we're bigger than Uro. Like, us just eating stuff with this SRAM is is really good. I get nervous every turn we pass and we have Hashtag, one. hashtag bigger than Uro. That's right, baby. <laughs> I mean, still, if they escape Uro, that's paying four mana and exiling five other cards from their yard. So, like, they get Uro, that's, that's great. You get Uro, but you use up your graveyard. And so... I mean, I think that's what we're about to see here. Green, green, blue. All right, so Seder Wayfinder comes out. Uh, Uro is still online. You know what I kind of want to do is entice them into a double block. Yeah. I don't know, man. We know they have an abrupt decay. Alright, so Uro happens. Yeah, here comes Uro. One fucking Griff's Boon, please. Give me fucking flying. Oh my god, dude. Griff's Boon right now? That would, that would give me a halfsy. Griff's Boon, Honestly, baby. Just, Come on. Yeah. I'm starting to dig, like, we only have, across main deck and sideboard, three Griff Spoons, I think. I'm starting yeah. to feel like maybe a fourth. I've, every single game I've been sitting here going, Griff Spoon, Griff Spoon, Griff Spoon. Cartouche! Okay. okay. Hey, at least we can combo off here. Let's go. Alright, so, part of me thinks we need to kind of divide and conquer here. And go Cartouche on one of these Hatefuls. That way we can swing with one of the Hatefuls. What do you guys think? Do we Cartouche? Five and a half minutes left. I know, I know. Where you Jace's ultimate? What's Jace's ultimate do? It mills. Jace goes alt at minus nine. Okay. I don't... We're just going to threaten Jace a little bit with this hateful here. This might be a dumb move. But if they decide to block it with like... Oh god, so they're just going to take 12. 
No, they're not. Watch your time. Yeah, I see it. I think they get us. I don't know what to do. I feel like you should be concentrating on going all in on that tram and hoping you draw fly. Because when you, like technically you would love if one turn you can combo into, you know, just a bunch of shit on SRAM and then flying and then fly for all 21 points of damage in one turn. Just like that. Because you've got the car metros and the all seat to back it up. There you go. So destroying a monocolor creature. They must have three removals in their hand. That's the stack. What absolute fucking tomfoolery. Well, I mean, they knew they needed to get in with three, or at least have three removals in hand before they tried to make a stab at removing that thing. That's game. That's a, that's we'll we'll play another one. Yeah, we tried our best, but Salty bullshit got us.